he's making he's making he's releasing videos on the regular schedule mine a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left this is just left, weird the illiberal liberals the anti-fascist fascists they're feeling as emboldened as ever anti-establishment liberals all over twitter cheering on massive corporations in their i thought you didn't like fucking establishment either man dude american attack anti this this meme of the day shit is weird it looks photoshopped as fuck so does that but constitutional attacks on the freedoms of individuals we live in a backwards it's not even folks. is it even a joke like it's not even this is what the president has been it's just with an old man office and it's been getting worse and worse and worse as they use him and his supporters abuse the news cycle as an excuse to take more and more power the authoritarian left is completely out of control folks and the on the authoritarian left lives entirely on the internet in case anybody's actually afraid of them. But what is being dubbed the Great Purge continues to get even more extreme. And that's what we're going to talk about on this video. Just how far the left is taking. Oh, he's mad because all of his right-wing fucking hornet's nests are um, getting burned down. And how far the Democrat machine and individual leftists are taking their leftist authoritarian crusade against right-wingers and, of course, anyone connected to the president. And so i got a ton of stories to show you guys, but before we get into any of it, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Please make sure to leave a like. As possible. Don't. Don't do that. The PBS Michael Channel breaking video out of the way. Let's roll the tape. Alright, so the first piece, I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but we have to cover, we absolutely must cover it on this channel. Breaking video from Project V and James O'Keefe. Here's Principal Council for PBS Michael Beller and his perspective on right wingers. This is an actual PBS employee. Oh, PBS. And so, you know, a lot of the times people think we're being hyperbolic when we talk about gulags or re education camps, mouse style. Yeah, because if there's going to be a gulag, it's going to be a PBS gulag. This gulag brought to you by viewers like you. Like, that's what plays over the loudspeaker every 20 minutes, the PBS gulag. Uh, they play they play nothing on the TV but reruns of, like, Franklin the Turtle. And constant indoctrination of the liberal ideas of not being a fucking dick to your neighbor. What? Humiliation. But we wouldn't be talking about it if the left didn't constantly... Why is the... Why the fuck is the... Is the... Chairman of PBS the left? What the fuck are you even saying? Project Veritas, like, dude, what? Am I am I unaware of something? Was like it was like PBS leftist indoctr indoctrination. We allude to it, and not just random fringe weirdos on Twitter, but thought leaders and people who work at some of these major organizations. PBS is a thought leader? I mean, for Pete's sakes, AOC makes some sort of allusion to a level of extreme leftism, extreme authoritarian leftism, on a nearly weekly basis. At least that's what it feels like. Some sort of illusion, at least that's what it feels like, usually every week, at least once a week, kind of. But she's the far left. They compile lists of Trump supporters. They hold right-wingers to a completely different standard. Than Hell yeah! I, why is my alerts not playing? Nothing's working. I appreciate the purchase. I forgot I still had that on my site. Where did that thing go? On my overlay. Because the emote, the emote didn't do the thing either. Damn it. They hold their own. They talk about conservatism as if it's some sort of like malignant tumor that must be eradicated. We just covered this tweet yesterday from John Brennan urging for total denunciation of a despot's legacy is necessary to eradicate any remaining malignancy, meaning Trump supporters must totally denunciate Trump and his legacy, and it's necessary if they plan on joining back into society. We're talking about some seriously crazy. Yeah, it's based on the first TikTok I made that a, like a shit ton of people responded to. About that dude who was like threatening. He was like this guy that was like threatening people, making vague threats about us third parties. He goes, We don't fuck around with shit. And he like racks a weapon off camera, but he's got like this airsoft vest on. 
Frederick some rhetoric that really does flash back to elements of history. That's why it says we don't fuck around with shit. <laughs> because that's what he said in the video. It looks super weird uh, Founded otherwise. Oppression, oppression and loss of life. The left loves to throw the term around Nazi. They love calling it. No, dude, they don't. Oh, my God. This is an important distinction between uh, fact and fiction. You're not getting caught in the crossfire of being called a fucking Nazi just for meh, being a little bit conservative. It's not happening. Like, and if it is, it's pretty obvious to everybody around you that you're not a Nazi. I want to see somebody that got canceled for being called a Nazi when they didn't be, when they weren't found out to actually be a Nazi. Like when there wasn't like a tweet or a video they made or a comment they made. When it was all fabricated. Oh, that's right. It isn't fucking happening. Not a single person has lost their job for false accusations of being a Nazi that they couldn't defend themselves against because the mob came for them. Either they were caught on video saying something or they had some shit takes on a tweet or they fucking supported. But even now, there's a woman giving speeches uh, at Republican like rallies and shit talking about Hitler was right about one thing. Well, let me find that shit. Matter of fact... Sure. Illinois Congresswoman. Oh, okay. I realized she was in Congress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't fuck around and accidentally get called a Nazi by the left when you're not just for simply being a conservative or a Republican because they just fire that shit at everybody. Let's roll that back. Hitler was right on one thing. Hitler was right on one thing. That's a congresswoman in Illinois. A Republican congresswoman in Illinois. A Republican congresswoman. Yeah, yeah, but you're getting called a Nazi be just for being conservative. Literally Hitler, but it may just be projection. Do you think it's projection, or do you think it's Republicans literally fucking evoking Hitler? We're fighting against a machine hell-bent on power, hell-bent on control. Regardless of context or what the truth is, it doesn't matter. The context of what happened last week in D.C. doesn't matter. The comparison to very recent history doesn't matter. All that matters is going after- The context? What do you mean? The context matters a lot. It was a protest and then a riot after their political opponents to further their grasp on power. And let me show you guys some stories that'll really put that whole thing into perspective. Enemy number one is, and has always been, at least for the last four years, President Donald Trump, the only man in office who stood up to them. Just check out some of these headlines. German banking giant Dutch bank- Does Jim Jordan know you talk shit about him like this when you say Trump's the only one that stood up to them? Jim Jordan's out there making a complete double asshole. It's like an asshole with another asshole in it out of himself. Every single day, every day that he wakes up and goes, how can I look like a complete piece of shit today? And he, tw and then he figures it out and he tweets it out every day against the left. He even capitalized the left. He like trademarked the left as the enemy of the fucking GOP. Bank cuts ties with President Trump report. The scandal ridden Dutch bank is clearly the moral superior. Dog, Trump banked with them for ye he hears. Now you're going to just slander him because they turned on him? Get the fuck out of here. Towards money laundering you got to do better than that. A myriad of other scandals is going to take the high ground and stop doing business and No, they're running away from somebody who they can see is now compromised and might be a legal risk. They're not taking the moral high ground. They're a bank. 
Fucking chud. Close all of Donald Trump's accounts. Salesforce shuts down Trump campaign emails claiming they, quote, incite violence. The Trump campaign are not allowed access to emails because allegedly they've incited violence. Absolutely no proof is necessary. The media's... Well, they are a private company. You fucking dork. So yeah, they can do that if they want. Narrative is all the proof that they need. Once again, to jump... They actually need zero proof. Jump on the woke... Uh, your boys needed zero proof of voter fraud to go interrupt the process, but hey, 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 who am I to say? Bandwagon in an attempt to save their own behinds from any type of scrutiny from the Democrat machine, because really that's what only matters. Yeah, because they, uh, that's all that matters is scrutiny. All anybody gives a shit about is being talked to sternly with a finger wag by the Democrats. Apparently. These companies, check this out. Payment processor Stripe blacklists Trump campaign. No more payment processing. Can't exactly run anything if you can't process transactions. Exactly. See, people do this thing when they encounter what might be Nazis or fascists. They tend to not want to be the ones who history shall refer to as enablers of uh, the actions of said fascists or Nazis. I mean, what can you do? Free market at work. This is capitalism, baby. You signed up for it when you were born here. Trump campaign official denied entry into TV studio for interview. They told us he's on a list of people they won't allow in. Of course, we know the best way to allow someone or an entity to defend them. But what TV studio was it? Where was he doing a fucking interview? Because if it wasn't somewhere, if it wasn't like a left-wing news site, Let's see. What is, okay, so the studio name is Live Shot Studio. They host Fox News. Or is it just a production company studio? And they're in DC. It was for a Fox News interview. I don't know, man. Private company. Fox is Fox is outsourcing their fucking themselves is of course don't give them the ability to speak and give their argument just shut them out just start your own because they're such terrible just start your own company people and they don't deserve the right to speak only the fascist left nobody's taking the right to speak away they're just taking away the platform because again people have a problem with being listed as an enabler of uh the type of shit that the trump administration and his voters are, are doing and saying, unfortunately for them. Reserves that right. New York State Bar Association considers expelling Rudy Giuliani for his role in, quote, provoking mob to storm U.S. Capitol. Trial by combat. What the fuck do you think that means? Rudy Giuliani, who did nothing but show up at courthouses and give press conferences, plead his case and represent his client, a man who represent those who were giving him affidavits, and a man, from my understanding, we've covered everything that he said, was focused on the law and the Constitution and equal protection clauses that were being disregarded in several states. You have clearly not watched his YouTube channel, because holy fuck. Apparently incited violence. How exactly? Trial by combat. Well, you better not worry about that one. Don't ask questions, and you... Trial by combat. Won't have any problems. Is trial by combat. That's probably what they would tell you. Trial by, trial by, trial by combat. Stick around in New York. You know, he literally said that shit. Mayor Giuliani is known as America's mayor. The great was known as America's mayor. Greatest New York mayor of all time who brought the city back to vibrance. Let's go now to the current worst mayor of New York. I mean, I don't know. I don't live there, but... Work the worst mayor of all time. Bill de Blasio will explore canceling New York City contracts with Trump organization. It's the illiberal left, folks. This is why... Oh, yeah, Bill de Blasio. 
definitely a leftist. They're unable to have discussions, debates. It's not because they're unable. It's because they don't want to. They don't want to meet any level of challenge. They want to flex the muscle of government, flex the muscle of culture and power and control and big tech and media and subdue their... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So they control it, they keep humanity under a glass dome, and the only person, the person you choose to, to heroify as the one who, who was able to surmount the odds is fucking Donald Trump. If Donald Trump was able to break through the, the hold of a shadowy cabal of people controlling the country, they were not strong enough to be controlling the country in the way that you propose opponents twist the narrative and claim power because they feel entitled to it i mean just think about the justification there there he just the way that he talks about the media it's like he he's implying he's literally the only person on the fucking planet that 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 sees through the bullshit and the people that like watch this dude and believe him they must think the same thing like how do you not how are you not able to look at this shit and think for yourself they keep watching, they keep commenting on the first video I made, which I guess was kind of hard to follow. I'd be like, you didn't even say anything. And I'm like, I mean, I literally like showed links and receipts to immediately refute the claims that this ding dong made. Like, it's not hard. There is no justification to claim that the president directly incited violence. If that was the case, then pretty much every right winger would have expected violence headed in. But no violence was ever incited, especially by the president. People were expecting January 6th to just be another positive Trump rally like the thousands that we've already seen before. And so, of course, big t thousands tech huh? and the media have to stretch it and once again blame everything on trump no matter what he does it's his fault no matter what happens it's his how is it not the how is it the democrats fault for for the riots during the summer but it's not trump's fault for the fucking riot at the capitol building i wonder fault. let's once again go back to the reasoning of why twitter permanently suspended president donald trump because of this tweet to all of those who have asked i will not go to biden's inauguration and that's supposedly gonna inspire violence oh yeah there's no context i i thought context was important i thought the media the leftist media was ignoring context about the events on the 6th isn't that what we said at the beginning of this very video? But the context of him saying he's not going to the inauguration, the context being that it was being discussed as a signifier for that to be sort of a, uh, like, I'll be away from that location, be a shame if anything were to happen type deal, because that was the discourse. That's not what Trump said, probably no. But it's what immediately started uh, being stapled onto it as it was being retweeted thousands of times. So, I mean, you know, that's his fault. Oh yeah, he's done nothing in office but be stopped from doing anything in office, you see. That's the argument all the time. In what universe is that true? I have absolutely no idea. But another leftist authoritarian who seems to jump right on the bandwagon on a liberal liberal, an anti-fascist fascist, hammer and sickle Bernie Sanders is totally okay. <laughs> fucking, fucking what, dude? Holy shit, man. Holy fuck. Bernie Sanders doesn't give a fuck about the hammer and sickle Twitter speech police situation. Of all people, Bernie Sanders doesn't give a fuck. He's respectful with the way that he speaks. But, like, even he talks about how he's like, I don't even wish people happy birthday. I don't fucking care. He's like, I I'm not that guy. What the fuck do you mean, hammer and sickle authoritarian Bernie Sanders? Get the fuck out of here, dude. He <laughs> Holy shit, man. Okay with it, Mr. The most dangerous president in American history, Mr. Oh, he's got impressions. He's got impressions. I'm not really. This doesn't count as a view for him. Your anti-establishment establishmentarian, Mr. I am asking for your financial support for Joe Biden after the establishment nuked my campaign to oblivion. Look at this tweet that he just released. Let's be clear, if Trump is too dangerous to send out a tweet or a Facebook post, he's too dangerous to be commander in chief. Donald Trump. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of a weird take. Must be removed from Other than the removing from office, because that's true. But the co the comparison was dumb. Office immediately and held accountable for his horrific acts. I mean, I don't know. It makes sense. Chaos. But well, I don't think he's too dangerous.
I think his tweets were too dangerous was the reason that Twitter removed the shit. Ridiculous nature of this tweet that I don't even feel like I have to analyze it. What an absolute clown. And it's not even funny at this point. You know, I love laughing at ridiculous statements and tweets, but this is just sad. People siding with... Yeah, you sound like you laugh a lot, man. And I mean that as sarcastically as humanly possible. Mega corporations in tandem with governments controlling what can and can't be said, spinning the truth to attack their political opponents. Twitter suspends 70,000 accounts claiming QAnon ties. What about the Antifa groups on Twitter who are still actively calling for violence? Who are I maybe prove still it. Still actively coordinating violent riots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're coordinating them, but the cops still can't figure out how to how to. You know what I mean? They're coordinating openly on Twitter, but I can't show it to you. All right. Across the country, still smashing up small businesses in Portland. What about them? Well, well, they're not. For thee and not for me. <laughs> they're not. That's the easy answer to that. Speaking of rules for thee and not for me, people are posting this tweet like crazy all over the place from Twitter public policy. Access to information and freedom of expression, including the public conversation on Twitter, is never more important than during democratic processes, particularly elections. Hashtag Uganda decides 2021. And could you imagine the absolute tone deaf nature? I told you guys in a video prior, these companies don't even care anymore. They actually don't even care. They a company doesn't care? What? You don't say. I thought you liked capitalism, dude. Republicans sure hate capitalism when it gets capitalism all over their freedom. They don't like capitalism residue on their freedom. It's the worst Reese's Peanut Butter Cup situation for a Republican. But they love capitalism when it means that someone else can get rich. And when it means that you're poor, because I don't like you, so it's a good thing you're poor. So I'm going to relish in it like it's a personal victory of some sort, even though my material conditions are also absolute dog shit at the behest of billionaires. But now when it's about fucking Twitter, capitalist ideals are very bad, right? I feel like we get along on a lot of issues if you just didn't care so much about names. They do it overtly in your face, slap you in the face, and tell you that you're going to like it. So, f I mean... Threaten me with a good time. Free speech is important to you. He's like, well, I don't understand why the left likes Twitter so much. All they do is slap you in the face and tell you you're going to like it. Well, you may have answered your own question, buddy. And in the election. But in the American election, every tweet that the president sends out is going to be disputed. It's going to be censored. Negative information to the opposing candidate on the Democrat side is going to be censored. Yeah, probably. It'll be this way forever. It's going to be deleted off Twitter during... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens to every single fucking tweet. It didn't take an insurrection of the Capitol building for this to happen or anything. Those 70,000 QAnon accounts didn't, um, weren't created because this information has already spread incredibly far. ...of the election process and people who share it and people who talk about it are going to be banned. Yeah, they'll be arrested too. They're going to go in those PBS gulags. But anything related to Trump illegally... Re Where they'll have to watch Arthur and be indoctrin indoctrinated to gay marriage between rats and dogs or whatever whatever animals they were. Releasing his tax returns, lying about it, etc, 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 calls to violence, riots. As long as they come from a left-wing source, it's acceptable political speech. Give mm -hmm. them a break. They even had the nerve, the audacity, at least Mark Zuckerberg, that is, to ban Ron Paul. Ron Paul tweets with no... Libertarians fucking love companies being allowed to make decisions, aren't they? Repeatedly going against our community standards. I, I mean, I, I mean, I thought, I thought, but I thought Ron Paul was king libertarian, and I thought, I thought they loved this shit. I thought they loved it when a when a business can go, no, that's their favorite shit, isn't it? That's like their religion. Is businesses going no or going yes, depending on what it is? I thought they loved it. I thought they loved that. A, a, I thought they loved seeing an entrepreneur really, really ride the market like a bucking bronco or whatever when they when they would cater to a certain crowd and not be subject to uh, anti discrimination laws and shit like that. But now that you're the one being discriminated against, Ron Paul, you sure do hate it, don't you? It sure is annoying when you don't. When, when every time you speak, nobody has to stop and listen to you. Is that, is that bothersome, Ron Paul? Is it annoying that legally there's nothing you can do about not having a voice and not being heard? Is that, is that frustrating to you?
Ron Paul specifically. No explanation other than repeatedly going against our community standards at Facebook has blocked me from managing my page. Never have we received notice of violating community standards in the past and nowhere is the offending post identified. Ron you know what, man? When people can't get fired in Texas without an explanation, maybe anybody will give a shit that a libertarian can get kicked off of Facebook for violating community standards. Ron Paul, does he get any more benign than that? A lovable character, a father, a patriot, one of the most respectable politicians of all time who's advocated for the people and the middle class's entire career, a physician who served in the military, but no, can't have that. He's engaged in wrong things. Back I mean, shut up. Like, he hasn't changed what he's been saying. So why would that be the 